Hello everyone, my name is Greg and I dev stuff. Welcome everyone to episode 12 of Vampire Survivor like game in Unity. In this episode we will tackle passive items. Today we want to introduce a passive item system, which will allow us to have character wide boosts. And the very first thing we will introduce an armor. So let's add armor value into the game. The armor will be decreasing the amount of damage we take. So create a public field called armor. Then in take damage method we want to decrease the received damage by armor. Let's extract this process into the separate method, which will get the reference to the damage as a parameter. Inside subtract armor from the damage and check if the damage is less than zero. Make it equal to zero. This is done so if you have a lot of armor and take damage, which is less than your armor value, you will not be healed by the incoming damage. Good. Reference parameter means that the exact reference to the variable will be passed. This means that damage inside the take damage will persist with damage inside apply armor. So all the changes which was done inside apply armor will be applied to the same instance of variable which will be used later on in the take damage. Now our armor will be applied to the damage. This episode is brought to you by generous support of people on Patreon and members on YouTube. If you want to join them, link to my Patreon in the description and join button available right now on YouTube. If you join at $10 or more, you will get access to project files on Patreon. But it is zero at the moment, so we want to introduce a way to increase it. And one of the ways is by introducing passive items. In the editor, select the player and create another new component called passive items. Then we want to describe the items itself. So create a new scriptable object called item. Scriptable object is a data container for Unity. We will be using it to store the data about our items. Inside create two public variables, name and armor. String name I recommend to use capital letter first because this way we avoid hiding the name of the object, just in case it might cause some issues later on. Here we want to describe what's going to happen if we equip this item. To do this, pass the character into the equip method and add the armor to the character armor. and an equip method, which will do opposite, subtract armor from the character armor. We are describing what's happening to the player character if we are equipping the item. So now we have those two methods, and inside passive items we want to equip or unequip item. This script will be responsible for managing all the equipped items on this character. Create a list of equipped items on the character so we can track what items our character already has. Then create two methods with item as a parameter and those methods will be equip and unequip.
add the item we're trying to equip to the item list. Before you add anything to the list, you need to make sure that this list is initialized. To initialize the list, you need to use new keyword. Every time you call new list, it will remove the reference to an old list, which will dispose of everything, and then create a new list for us to use. In case our list of item is null, it means that this list hasn't been initialized yet. So in that case, we will not be able to work with it. So if we check if our list is null, then initialize it. It will create a list before we add the item if this list is not initialized yet. But this is just maintaining the list of items. Now we need to apply the effect of the item to the character. Catch the reference to the character on the awake. Then call equip on the item. Good. Okay, we're nearly done. Now we need to test this. So create serialized reference of the item. And then on start, call equip this item. Let's make sure you have added the create asset menu attribute to our scriptable object. This will allow us to create instances of this scriptable object in the editor. So you will be able to create more items into your game. So create an item, let's call it armor. Now we can assign the reference to armor in the passive item component. And if we launch the game, we should see that our armor will increase and the item will appear in the passive items list. Good. As you can see, our armor has increased. This actually highlight one of the issues I haven't fixed from previous episodes. Those knives doesn't move at the start if you don't move your character. This is happening because our last horizontal vector and last vertical vector is zero at the start. And we use them to determine the direction vector for velocity of our knife. And because it is zero, it doesn't move. In the player move, set the vectors to one at the start. Because our character at the start look at the left, let's make the horizontal vector minus one to match the animation and direction of thrown knife. Good. With this item, system we will be able to easily introduce more items in the future. Good, this is it for this episode. If you have any questions or any ideas about code, please leave your comment below. If you are interested in seeing what will come out of this, please subscribe. If you want to support further, you can find my Patreon in the description. Special thank you to Andrew Belong, The Old Hatch Do, Dominic Makia for their generous support. With best regards, see you in the next episode.